Hey everyone, this is Mike and today's video is going to be about something that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time now. The job design or job adjustments in Shadowbringers or just generally over the years because I've been playing the game for quite some time since Heaven's Wars. So I've seen my fair share of changes that have happened to the jobs over the years and as you can see from the title of the video, a lot of jobs have been simplified over the years. For some it was a small change like for example Bart losing his straight shot buff, but for others they were complete overhauls of how the job functions like Warrior and Machinist. And it's those two that I'm mainly going to be using as an example for today's discussion, as they both went through a fair amount of changes. I've said it many times before, but I used to be a big fan of Machinist back in Stormblood, one of the few. I liked its general gameplay, it was a very strict job and that meant that when you did pull it off correctly it was very satisfying. Compared to right now, a lot of the satisfaction is gone compared to what I got from the old playstyle because the current wildfire is kind of meh. It used to be this big thing that you would be looking forward to every minute as that was your big burst and you would also need to align all of your important skills so that they would fit inside this wildfire buff duration but right now all you really need to care about is having enough heat for hypercharge and then you'll be good with your wildfire but with how machinist works right now the old wildfire just wouldn't really make sense anymore as its whole gameplay identity has changed with the rework before it was a job that was very strict not really allowing for many other adjustments and then it was very focused around this wildfire and the wildfire itself is where most of the satisfaction came from playing the job whereas right now it's more of a resource management job where you try to use drill and air anchor on cooldown fit in hypercharge wherever possible while still making sure that you save enough heat gauge for when that wildfire does come up and that basically changed a lot of the dynamic so instead of just finding a lot of satisfaction coming from wildfire as a skill itself fitting everything inside this burst window, the satisfaction now comes from being able to utilize all of these different resources, making sure that you can use them on cooldown without compromising somewhere else in the other skills that you are using. So this rework has been pretty good. Back in Stormblood Machinist was the least played job in the game by far, and right now it has a very healthy player base, which is very good. This is probably also partly due to the fact that Machinist back then was a very clunky job, and right now it feels very smooth to play. For Warrior, I think the hardest the job ever was was around the release of Stormblood as there were a lot of things that you had to manage. It was somewhat similar to Machinist as you were working towards your burst phase and everything in between was making sure that you would have all of the resources necessary to have a successful burst phase. For example, back then, Inner Release and Berserk were two separate actions. Berserk would be the thing that gives you the damage buff and Inner Release would reduce the beast gazed cost of your abilities. It wouldn't nullify it like it does right now, but it would cut it in half if I remember correctly. So going into your burst, you would want to save up the maximum beast gauge and also make sure that you refresh that storm's eye buff before you go into it. And back then, your storm's eye buff would only like just be applied for 30 seconds coming from the skill and not go up all the way to 60 seconds like it does right now. So once you had both of those boxes checked, you have your storm's eye buff, you have your maximum beast gauge, you could go inside of your burst phase and then dish out a lot of damage. But there were a lot of steps required for you to just get into there, meaning that you would have to take care of a lot of stuff between your burst phases to ensure that you could use your inner release and your berserk on cooldown. Looking at Warrior now, it's probably the easiest job to play in the game. Storm's Eye can last so long right now, the full 60 seconds, that you can kind of refresh it whenever. You can refresh it just before it expires, you can refresh it like at 20 seconds left of the duration, you just need to make sure that it doesn't drop and that you don't overcap and then your inner release is something that you just can use off cooldown without again not needing to pay attention to too much because you don't care about your beast gauge, the only thing you care about is that your infuriate is not going to overcap so it's pretty much a little bit of a monkey sees action, neuro activation, unga bunga, fell cleave, big damage and you're done. So there's a very big difference between old warrior and the way it is right now. Skill floors being lowered is generally a good thing as it opens up the jobs to a wider variety of players and you also don't need to be some stellar player in order to be able to play those jobs at a decent level in higher level content as well. For those that do want to get a little bit more out of their jobs there is still a decent amount of optimization that can be done as well. Going back to Machinist for example, saving specific stuff for raid buffs like your automaton queen, hypercharge, 
um, like saving extra ricochets and gauss rounds. They're very tiny things, but in the end they will make a difference in your DPS output. It does mean that the skill ceiling and the skill floor also isn't as far apart as it used to be. Back in the day, the difference between someone that had a basic understanding of a job and someone that put in a lot of time and effort into learning all its intricacies was fairly large, whereas right now that's not really the case anymore, and that does diminish some of the satisfaction that some people might get out of playing perfectly when someone else could just be using things off cooldown, getting lucky with some crit RNG and then getting a very similar or an even better parse than you did. I guess this also has a lot to do with the fact that rate DPS is now the standard metric on FF logs and how all of that works, but I'm not really going to go too much into detail on that for this video. For someone like me, the simplifications and for some roles homogenizations mean that it is very easy to swap between jobs and being able to play them at a good enough level to clear just about anything that isn't savage or ultimate. And even for Savage, I can still clear it again on just about any job as long as I got a little bit of extra gear for the jobs that I'm not as good at. I can't clear everything in minimum item level, but if I'm best in slot on, let's say, Scholar, I'll be able to heal Savage as well, uh, whilst I'm definitely not a great healer. I'm also someone that cares more about feeling rather than difficulty. While it is fun to play something that is difficult and then do everything correctly, as that does give a lot of satisfaction, but it also still needs to be fun. And that goes beyond Final Fantasy as well. Games like Sekiro or Celeste are really tough games and their fun factor comes from beating a boss or finishing a difficult platforming section. But on the other hand, I can also enjoy games that are a lot easier. Let's say for example Destiny 2, where it's fun to just run around with your powerful guns and a cool ability setup whilst you're decimating groups of enemies that are coming at you. And it's that feeling that I feel is sitting mostly good right now. There isn't a single job in Final Fantasy XIV at the moment that I don't like, and that's never really been the case before. I still have my favorites, of course, but there aren't any more jobs that I just would not want to play. I do hope that they don't continue simplifying any more than they have already done. Right now I think we're at a point where most jobs are fairly accessible, and while some might need a slight gameplay overhaul, looking at you, Summoner, I don't really think we need to make the jobs much easier than they are right now. I would say that some jobs might even need to be made a little bit more difficult again, but as long as the feeling is good and as long as it is fun to play, then I'll be happy because if they do decide to go down the road of making things easier for me personally, then I'll just look into other games for when I want to challenge myself. So that's kind of my take on the job changes that we've had over the years. Things have become easier, but the jobs still feel good to play, which is a very important thing, because if a job is really hard, but it's not fun to play, then even playing that job perfectly is still not going to make it fun. So let me just know what you think about all of this. I know that there are a lot of new players watching these videos as well, so I'm kind of curious to see if there is a big difference between how new players feel about it compared to some veteran players. Anyways. That's gonna do it for me, I wanna thank you for watching, I wanna thank my Patreons for their support, and I'll see you in the next one.